Hello, I am Andrew Savtsov. I am SC in the Embarcadero Moscow office. I am keen in database technologies, but also had a huge experience in applicational and server developing on different languages and compilers, especially on Delphi. I love to take pictures with my digital camera. It's my hobby and passion. In the nowadays data-driven world, with a lot of people taking enormous count of photos, we can get a lot of very useful statistics and insights instantly from digital image files, because metadata are written into them automatically by most of devices. Today, I am going to show how modern Red Studio features give quick and efficient way to solve this problem. Image metadata are written as exchangeable image file format, officially EXIF, and contain different types of metadata tags. Some of them have the standard content, and the other are varying and depends on camera's type, brand, and manufacture. In the most cases, EXIF had the following features. Content is varying. It's only partly standardized. Every manufacturer adds special data. Text data may be of any data type, even arrays or complex structures. So, we need a very specific storage to keep and search this extracted in four. After all, a document oriented NoSQL database MongoDB looks like the first choice to use as a data storage. We are going to have a single document for every processed image file. The document schema must have a key with a file path and a set of attributes to uniquely identify storage volume and standard set of EXIF tags, plus thumbnail graphic and maker notes, optional and proprietary part. This schema is not most optimal, and we use for demo only purpose. To bring the application to life, we'll use Red Studio 10 point Berlin in VCL Delphi part. It's really the fastest way to make things done quickly. To extract EXIF from graphic files, we'll download and use CCR 1.5 open source library. We'll also enjoy MongoDB free server version 3.2. To prepare MongoDB documents, we'll take advantage of Delphi JSON framework and MongoDB comprehensive support in FireDoc, as well as new object Pascal enhanced syntax with parallel programming library to make our UI responsive. Let's switch to Delphi ID and take a brief look at the source code. The code for this demo you can find at GitHub. Look at the model view first. You can see all classes we use on this form. To get EXIF data, we'll create and use class TEXIF extractor, which uh, encapsulates and hides the realization via CCR library. Its responsibility is to read EXIF data if any present from specified graphic file into the memory and provide information from uh, file key info, mem exif data, mem makers notes, thumbnail containers to other binded objects. The main acting class is txif mongo loader, which implements imyxif loader interface. And its responsibility is, with given option set, fabricate proper Mongo document 
using embedded in Mongo document class streaming JSON builder by combining of file key info, standard exif tags, maker nodes, and thumbnail binary representation. For real upload, we may use any of specific child classes which can absorb documents to single collection or separated collection schemas using FireDuck Mongo query components. CCR library provides a very large variety of data tags, values, and data formats. And to make building of Mongo document much easier, we will use new Optic Pascal feature and create TXIF Mongo helper, class helper for TMongo document, which extends its builder's method set to support other metadata types such as dates, times in ISO format, geographical coordinates, earth distances, and specific photo attributes. Now let's return and take a deeper look into load standard values method of T exif uh, Mongo loader class to check how simple its realization with the uh, use of TXIF Mongo helpers methods. Without these overloaded methods of TMongo helper, the unit source would be uh, overwhelming with repeating piece of codes and uh, would be in times longer and uh, far less readable. The whole process is orchestrated by main form named FM Deer File List, which provides UI controls to set different options and uh, to run the extraction and upload process. A couple of list boxes serve to choose a folder with graphic files and check and remove some of them out of the task list. Here you can also see a uh, connection component, which is set to connect to local MongoDB server and lock window to uh, watch execution process. We'll run the process by clicking Mongo button, which uses item to Mongo method to load one document with extracted exif data in time atomically. It intensively used methods of tmongo loader to fulfill this job. Uh, using best practices and tips for PPL, by the way, it's highly recommended to attend Danny Wynn's uh, Coderage session. We can achieve the following make our UI not freezing during the long batch processing, get the ability to cancel the process at any time, get exception propagation and handling properly. Despite the fact that CCR library is not thread safe, let's compile and run the application. I'll take about 80 different files into processing for this demo. Let's get it. You also can see that uh, we can uh, observe the contents of these files and choose which one should be processed and which one should be removed from processed. Let's start it. You can see that our UI of the main form is responsive and the form could be moved around. The process finished in short time. 
to check the results of uh, we can find inserted record in RoboMongo uh, utility with its uh, graphical user interface by selecting uh, inserted objects, documents, and uh, convince that uh, all metadata were stored, uh, extracted and stored in a proper form, in right form. To make a short summary, I would uh, like to mention some important points. We make possible use of open source CCR library. We built Mongo-based solution to deal with data with no scheme. We used Firedux JSON business uh, serialization with Mongo document builders. We built interface-based object-oriented programs, which gives more compact and agile architecture to develop and maintain. Uh, also, we saw use of syntax extension that uh, they were very helpful. Class helpers gave uh, much more compact code without redefining the whole source class methods. And Anonymous methods are very good to use with PPL. A parallel programming library, PPL, let make our application responsive uh, and more user-friendly and faster. We also showed uh, using Win10 or Win8 notification uh, service to be informed after a very large batch processing. Thank you. That's all in brief. Hope the video was helpful for you.